Hi everyone, Christine here at Christine's Craft Table. I have a few things to share with you today. Today is October 7th. First off, I participated, well, I watched a live from uh, Crochet with Tiffany with Tiffany Hansen on Saturday and she was talking about doing some crochet for the victims of the Helene hurricane. Um, she doesn't have anywhere to send anything to at the moment. They're pretty much in survival mode, as you know, still. Um, but as soon as uh, she is able, she will be providing a an address where we will collect uh, crochet items just to send to these people um, to show them someone out there cares uh, in the way of crochet, what we do best. Uh, obviously, there's ways to donate cash and uh, other items, <clears throat> but as a crochet community, um, she thought this would be a cool way to um, to give in another way uh, that shawl that you can wrap around your shoulders and take comfort in or maybe a plushie for a kid uh, who's lost every single to toy they owned um, or in this case a soap sack for washing with um, she actually did this pattern on her live and demonstrated it. So I picked up my crochet hook and made two of them. This is from Scrap, 100% cotton yarn, and it's a very easy pattern. This is a four by six soap sack, just big enough to put a bar of soap in. And then the idea is you use it for washing and and then you can hang it on the, in the shower or wherever you're, you know, wherever you have a place to hang it. And it's a sanitary way to keep your soap in your towel, off the ground, off other surfaces. Uh, and it's cute. <laughs> so there's a whole organization that just makes soap, sa soap sacks for uh, distribution to uh, people in need. And so T Tiffany, I know, has been involved with that organization. I want to say it's soapsacks.com is their website, but I will look it up and put it in the description box. Um, but this is not in conjunction with them. This is just a pattern that she came up with in order to make something for those hurricane victims. And, but you can make anything, uh, watch her live and she tells us all about it. <clears throat> and so I just wanted to share these cute little soap sacks that I made really quickly. And you know, the possibilities in color combinations are endless. If you just pick up your pile of cotton scraps, this took about 50 yards. Um, anyway, I was proud of those <laughs> and I will be making more of those. I like those and I, I might even try a shawl uh, to give because I love that idea of uh, handing someone a shawl to wrap themselves in for comfort and for warmth. And uh, they're versatile. You can roll them up and use them as a pillow. You can put it around your neck and keep warm. Use it as a little blanket. Uh, shawls are very functional. I can testify to that. I've got my trusty poncho here <laughs> that I can throw on anytime I catch a little chill around the house. I also wanted to share that I'm double dipping with these two soap sacks in that I'm also participating in a make along with Kathy, with Kathy with Yarn Heart. Uh, I'll put her website somewhere around here. <laughs> um, she is doing her very first make along, crochet along. Um, I think it can be knit as well. Um, 
she's calling it something new. And all you have to do is create something new, or it could be a new pattern to you or a new uh, yarn. Um, I'll put a link to her video in the description box if you'd like to participate. It just started. Uh, the deadline is at the end of October sometime and to send her a picture, whatever you make. And it's something small. It does. It's not a big project that we're looking for or she's looking for. Uh, and you use your scraps. Uh, she gives you a color. She picks some colors that she'd like you to use. But if you don't have those colors, which I didn't, she also allows you to use neutrals. And I did have some neutrals in my scraps. So it's a fun little make along that you can uh, do a little stash busting with and help support Kathy in her very first make along. So I hope you will check it out. Uh, I'm sure it can be something quick and fun at the same time. Next, I have uh, my squares for Jada in Stitches, the Granny's Magical Cupboard crochet along that I've been participating in every month. We do squares that Jada gives us the pattern for. And then at the end of the year, we'll put all our squares together and come up with the blanket. And so this month, the square is called the twisty or whirly. I think it's whirling granny square. And this is the pattern. It's very easy, kind of cute. I'm actually trying to get used to it. <laughs> I'm not sure if I like it yet or not, but it's very easy and basically all double crochet except for these stitches you do in the corners, which are like a cable stitch. It's going across and then you come back and do your, your corner. And there's one in each corner and they kind of do like a little ladder, ladder deal as you do one in each, uh, on each row. And so I've only got two done so far. And that was my first one in this, <laughs> which has become my favorite colorway lately, <laughs> is my second one. You can't see the ladder so much on the, on this one. The back is, uh, very clean. You don't see the letters on the back, obviously. And uh, I have two more to make on these for the month of October. I think I like it. <laughs> Just, I like symmetry and I'm not, I know there's a certain amount of symmetry to these, but it, it just might not be enough to, to make sense to me. <laughs> what do you think? Do you like that square? I love the colors. I'm just not sure about the pattern. <laughs> okay, enough. <laughs> Next, I thought I'd show you my progress on the thermal blankets. I am 18 inches in, I'm proud to say. <laughs> Here we go. So we started with black, then white, arctic blue, navy, and now we've got a stonewash blue. And I think the next color is going to be white again. So I'm almost done with the stonewash blue. It's uh, I'm getting about four inches per skein. This is going to be an 84 inch blanket. <laughs> so we still have a ways to go and lots of skeins of yarn to use. <laughs> but I'm loving it. It is squishy and totally warm and very neat. I'm loving the the stitch pattern of this thermal stitch. It's just, I don't know, it's just so uniform. <laughs> okay, so that's my thermal blanket in progress. If you watched one of my last videos, I said my goal is to get this out for Christmas. We shall see. <laughs> And lastly, I have a package I received in the mail today. And this is from the Butler Family 
Farms. They had a live recently celebrating their one year anniversary from being on YouTube. And I think they do a lot of lives. And so uh, they had a ton of giveaways. It's a cute couple, husband and wife. They have a, they do a lot of different things on their farm and it's interesting. He does, um, oh, what do you call it? Wood, wood turning where I know there's some people that create crochet hooks. Actually, I think he has cr uh, created some crochet hooks, but I watched him create a yarn bowl for his wife over like, I don't know, six or seven episodes. It was quite a process. Uh, I'd call that a labor of love. <laughs> but the, so the, that's the husband, he's very talented. And then they show just like living on the farm. They, when they had to uh, ship off the old bull and bring in a new bull and uh, the whole nail biting experience <laughs> of rounding up that that bull and getting him in the in the truck or in the trailer uh I'm just fascinated by all that and I I admire them they work hard so yeah anyway <laughs> so they had a bunch of giveaways on their celebration and, you know, cute little bags I did show you the bag right what is that Stark City Missouri, M-O. I guess that's the shape of the state of Missouri. <laughs> cute, very cute. Little sachet, I think it might be cinnamon. <clears throat> Greetings from Missouri, <laughs> cute. Congratulations on your win on our recent giveaway. Thanks for joining us. BFF, Jenny and Jerry and Susan. BFF stands for Butler Family Farms. I think that's cute. And they want everyone to be their BFF. Reprint a vintage large letter state name postcard. CA 1930s to 1940s. Cool. This is the little dish scrubby I want. And being a crocheter, I can appreciate that. Very cute. I think Susan made this. I don't think I've used this scrubby yarn before. It's very thick. Great texture. It doesn't seem like it would be very difficult to crochet with. You know, some scrubby yarns are so hard on your fingers, but this, this doesn't seem too bad. I will put this to good use. <laughs> Thank you, Jerry and Susan. And, adorable. <laughs> isn't that cute? <laughs> yeah, that's sweet. Very fallish. Two pretty and plush dish towels. Thank you so much. That was fun. Sorry. This just Thank fell out of the dish cloths. The dish, Dish Scrubby is made by Kimber Care. Plush amigurumi, keychains, octopus, bumblebees, many more. Oils that heal, hydrate, and repair. Sweet Spot Elixir, beard and tattoo oil, game changer elixir, pain away elixir, and eliminator elixir. Duct tape creations, wallets, rose pens, kitchen scrubbies, and cookies and breads. Wow, they do everything. <laughs> Text Kimberly Ray. Please join and share Kimber Care group page on Facebook. Thank you for your business. Okay, so she must have donated the, the dish scrubbies. And I guess you can scan that if you want to check out her Facebook page. Okay. All right, just wanted to add that correction. <laughs> Not made by uh, Susan, but made by Kimber Care. Kimberly Ray. And that is all I have for you today. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.